Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's happening? What's happening? This is the Drinks and Discussion Podcast, man. Episode 129. It's your boy King Bot KV and GBAK. Uh, here with my man Primetime Naeem. Primetime, what's up? You yeah, what's goody? What's happening with y'all, man? Um uh 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 a couple things. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. You know what I mean? Dollar Patreon, you know what I'm saying? Get all exclusive content before it drops. So you know what I'm saying? Make sure you do that. Also, make sure that you uh follow us. Everything's right here. Oh shit, I'm getting the wrong way. Everything's right here. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. Um how's your week, bro? I ain't seen you in like uh two weeks. What's up? Man, uh, it was good, man. It was good, man. Um Spent a lot of time at the dentist, man. I had to get some work done on my teeth, man. Okay, you okay. I mean? uh, actually, um, I had to, yeah. So I had to take a couple trips to the dentist, man, because I, I had to get a crown. Then something happened to the crown, so I had to go back for the crown. And so, yeah, um, I I can't lie to you, bro. Like I can't feel half my face right now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, the right side of my mouth is still a little bit in pain, but I'm pushing through, bro. I'm pushing through, man. For sure, for sure. Hey, it is what it is, man. Oh shit, oh. two is me. Two is me. Ha ha! Got oh, yeah. it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my boys got a little basketball tournament going on, man. They was doing their thing. They was doing their thing. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see you post the clips of that, man. That was yeah, dope. Yeah, 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 man. That was dope. Trying to get them right. Trying to get them right. Yeah, man. Get them right. Get them right for sure, man. All right, bro. We got a lot to cover today, man. It's a lot of bullshit going on. Hold on, so, hold on, hold on. You can talk. You can talk about your weekend, man. Oh shit! Oh or shit! Your week, should I say? Um. Let me see my week, my week. Uh, yeah, my week was a little emotional, man. Um, I buried my grandmother. Um, that was like super emotional. Um, uh, but I did get to see like a lot of family I ain't seen in a while. So, uh, I mean, that was pretty dope. Um, to get a chance to see them, man. Um, service was beautiful, beautiful service, man. Um, my first time as a pallbearer, man. I was nervous as shit, man. Um, but we made it through. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um. My other side of the family came out, so my mom's side uh, showed up too, which was actually pretty dope, man. Um, uh, anything else happened? Oh, my cousin had her Shriners ball, uh, which I attended, man. I was looking real dapper, real debonair uh, at the Shriners ball, man. So, you know, I got a couple pictures on the gram. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting a couple of likes out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, what else happened this weekend? Uh, nothing. Nothing else happened this weekend noteworthy. However, however, Dreamville, Dreamville is this weekend, and I will be in attendance. So if you are going to Dreamville, dead ass, if, you, if you're going to Dreamville, drop something in the comments. I'm a, I'm a DM you. We can link up at Dreamville. And I mean, if you want to hang out with the kid, because I mean, shit, I'm rolling solo dolo out there. Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, link up with the kid, man. Um. You know, whether you got general admission or VIP, I'm in both. You know what I'm saying? I'm roaming around. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to everybody, man. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm super, super, super excited about Dreamville, man. It's going to be a great weekend, man. The weather's going to be great. It's going to be a great weekend, man. The lineup is fucking amazing. And I am ready for it, yo. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about hitting some of these, uh, some of these pre-Dreamville parties. That are going on this week. So it's one going on tonight. I don't think I'm gonna make it to. Um, but it's one going on at the uh at Peace and Saint that I think I'm a, I'm gonna swing through. I think I'm gonna swing through Peace and Saint and check that out. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be out there and then uh, it's another one that um guy we went to high school with Sean Henderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Henny is throwing something, man. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and check him out too. Um, you know what I'm saying, just to see what's popping out here, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really, that's really it for me. Um, as far as I got what I got going on. Um, yeah. Oh, all right. So look, we, uh, not tonight's podcast, but tomorrow's podcast is going to be the last podcast for 30 days. So for those of y'all who don't know, me and Naeem are both Muslim and the month of Ramadan is approaching. So during Ramadan, we have decided collectively that we are not going to podcast because when we podcast it means only right that we drink. 
So, um, so, you know, we are, we are not going to podcast. However, however, you will not miss out on any content because it's still content that needs to come out. So it's still going to be content flowing. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the Patreon so you don't miss it. Um, but it's still going to be content flowing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Effortlessly. Um, so it's not like you guys are going to miss a beat. There just won't be any new episodes for the month of April. Um, you know what I'm saying? So please, you know what I'm saying? Respect our time while we cleanse our bodies. And, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we going to be back at y'all, you know what I'm saying? The following month with the, with the laughs and the giggles and shit. Yeah. You know I mean, yes, sir. For sure. Uh, you ready for Ramadan, dog? Man, ready as, ready as I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that shit has to fall on, on the weekend of Dreamville. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm just going to make up those two days, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to, my Ramadan is already not starting off good, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like I already have it in my mind. So I'm going a, I'm to a try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to refrain from anything until the the night falls. But I cannot promise you anything, dog. You know what else, man? You know the UNC Duke game, bro. Mm. It's gonna be. I think on the first day of Ramadan. Oh fuck me, man. Yeah, and so. Bro, I was talking to my homeboy, and he's like, "Man, we're gonna have to watch that game drunk because it's gonna be way too stressful, bro. Watching the UNC Duke." Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. If, you, if you're from North Carolina and you're really a big Duke or UNC fan, bro, you, bro, your stress is going to be like here, bro. This is the here. this is the third matchup. This is the third matchup. They won one, we won one. So it's it's you know, and this is the big shit. This ain't yeah, the this, little this shit. This is the first time ever Duke and UNC has has ever met in the NCAA tournament. Man, matter of fact, we're gonna talk about sports for like two seconds, man. Fuck St. Peter's, St. Patrick. When y'all niggas fucked up my fucking bracket, B. Like, yo, I can't sure stand y'all niggas. Like, who the fuck is these niggas, yo? Yeah, they fucked up everybody's bracket, man. Yo, they I was trying I was trying to win that Nissan truck, yo. Y'all fucked up my bracket. Now I can't win the truck. Bro, but I'm going to tell you, so it's a chick that I work with, bro. Her bracket is fucking perfect, but you know what? She let a computer pick her bracket for her. I said, that's the only way. That's the only way your bracket ain't fucked up if you had a computer pick it for you, yo. It's no fucking way, yo. It's no fucking way. Who you have? Uh, Did, did you do a bracket this year? Yeah, yeah, I did a bracket. Who, who you have winning it all? Uh, I still got Villanova. They still lost. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got four. I got I got four guys brackets. I got four guys and mm. three girls. My girls brackets are fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah my girls brackets are fine. However, uh, however, my bracket, my guy bracket from work, that's just fucked up. That's just out the window. Yeah. Um, and then two of my 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 guys brackets are like really really fucked up. But um, but I do have Villanova on one of them winning it all. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I had Gonzaga winning on one, yeah. and they got knocked See, out. I got Gonzaga and Villanova playing each other, but Gonzaga Ben got knocked out. So yeah. Yeah. Out. yeah. Man, fuck my shit all up, man. I thought Gonzaga. Yo, I honestly thought Gonzaga was gonna take it all away. To be yeah, honest with you. Yeah. I, I, I thought for once they would pull it off. For mm-hmm. once, but nah. They but you know what? I didn't even have I didn't even have Duke and UNC going this far. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be a buck with you, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm a huge UNC fan. But Absolutely, nah, I but I have us going this far. I didn't. I didn't have them going this far, man. And Duke has been scraping by on the hair of their chinny chin chin, dog. Like, yo, they a young team, and I understand, man. And the, the pressure of the attorney is on them. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if they Coach K last year, man, they're gonna they're gonna fight hard. Yo, my dad texted me talking about some what if Coach K win it all. He not, dog. Like, why would you even speculate that? Anyway, enough sports, enough sports. We gotta get into the shit, man. We gotta get into the shit. And there's a lot of shit. All right, so first on the agenda, the smack yeah. heard around the world. Y'all already know. <laughs> we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about the smack. Did you watch the Oscars, dog? Nobody watches the Oscars no more. <laughs> Nobody watches the Oscars. Yo, my, I know I woke up the next morning and my Twitter was on fire, yo. I was like, what is happening? What did I miss? My Twitter was on fire, dog. And I love Twitter because Twitter will let me know anything important happening in the world, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm on Twitter, man, and I'm seeing the memes. I'm seeing the comments. I'm seeing the video. Like, they're giving me the actual video. They're giving me... Re- Tay Diggs is giving me reenactments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the 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 little TikTok stars are giving me <laughs> reenactments. <laughs> the the way he 
we go we gonna play the video for those of y'all who ain't seen it yet. Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. Let me let me let me get some shit right because I gotta uh I gotta edit some shit real quick, man. Cause we go we go we gonna get y'all we gonna get y'all right real quick, man. We gonna get y'all right. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. My wife's name. Out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I can, oh, okay. All right, bruh. So we got, we got, we got to talk about it, right? We got to talk about it. So I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with Chris Rock. Start off with Chris Rock. My views on Chris Rock. The joke was bad. It was a, it was a bad joke in bad taste. Um, and he shouldn't have said it. He shouldn't have said it. I said that. Dog. I support. I support Will Smith, a hundred percent, in slapping the shit out of him on fucking white cable TV. I I respect the shit out of it. However, however, it does make us look like niggas. But, but, Chris Rock was wrong. Chris Rock was dead ass wrong. I thought he was gonna go the other way. No, 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 no. Chris Rock was dead ass wrong, dog. I mean. And you know, sometimes you gotta hit a nigga with a little pow pow. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta just get hit with a little pow pow. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit right. You know what I mean? Like I think that I think that Will Smith uh did what he was supposed to do. He said, Yo, you disrespected my wife on fucking cable TV. Nigga, I gotta disrespect you in the same way. If you open hand slap a nigga, that's disrespectful as fuck. I would rather you punch me. Don't open hand slap me, nigga. Punch me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? What like, did Charlie Murphy say, <laughs> "What the fuck?" You don't slap a man. <laughs> what the five fingers say to the face? Is it? Is it? You know what they did after that? They had a duel out there. Someone had to die. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Um. I'm not clout chasing. Because I played the video. However, we we do have a platform, and we do have to talk about it. But this is not a uh, uh, instant inst instance for content. This is an instance to uh, reflect and notice how a man is supposed to stand up for his woman. And Will Smith did that. Y'all, y'all see this nigga in fucking I Am Legend and fucking King Richard and fucking I Am Robot and Men in Black, and still forget like he that nigga from Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Philly niggas don't play about that shit. Hey, bro, this is not the first time he smacked somebody, bro. Remember there was that uh, that Italian uh, reporter who tried to kiss him on the mouth? Oh, like, yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but nobody said it. I mean, that got, like, a little bit of traction, but nobody really know, said nothing know. about it. But, yeah, but you smack a nigga on the Oscars, and, you know, it is what it is. Now, uh... After that slap on the Oscars, uh, Chris Rock actually has a tour going on. We mentioned it last podcast. Um, Chris Rock has a tour going on, and um, his ticket sales have actually skyrocketed. So now I can't get tickets to go see Chris Rock because, you know it's what I'm saying? Him and Kevin, right? Yeah, him and Kevin Hart. Yeah, so them shits have fucking skyrocketed. So, you know, and then people are saying like the slap was fake. No, that slap was fucking no, real. That was real. That was a real fucking slap, dog. Real slap. Nigga, you can't even hear it, bro. Yeah, that right, slap. right. The slap heard across the world, yo. That's how that's how the news reporter introed it. The slap heard across the world. That's what scroll at the bottom of the fucking screen. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn, that's fucking crazy, dog. Like, how do you how do you come back from getting slapped? On, if a nigga slaps you on national TV, 
Oh man. Chris, Chris is better than me, bro. That's but, all I can say. But you know what? I respect Chris because he secured that fucking bag. He did. He he no, did. No. Although although he's better than me, but he did the right move because yeah. if he if he would have retaliated, things would have got way worse, way mm. worse. Um, for for everybody, everybody yeah. involved, it would have been just way worse. So Chris did the right thing by um showing uh with straight and professionalism by keeping the show going so yeah props to chris rock yeah for sure man for sure round of applause round of applause yeah, yeah. but yeah I, I but yeah he deserved to get a little pow pow you know what i'm saying he deserved to get the little pow pow man um <laughs> i have you ever had a slip shit slap down to you before dog like not by like your parents and no shit nah. like that but like but like somebody else nah not like that Oh, okay, so okay. No, no, without us scrapping or something like that. Right, right, right. I, 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 I gotta address some things, bro, on this, on this thing, bro. Mm-hmm. Because it's crazy, bro. Like this smack, bro, divided the world, bro. <laughs> Not just divided the country, divided the world, man. When I go online, like I look, and it's like everyone's like split, like fifty fifty. <laughs> Is it Chris who was wrong? It was Will who was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like Team Will, some people are Team Chris. It's like yo, it's it's like completely divided. I've never seen nothing divide us since damn uh, Hillary and Trump. God damn it! Like this is this is crazy the way like it's divided the world, man. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like more than Republicans and Democrats. You know, uh, Black Lives Matter and Blue Lives Matter. Like this shit is crazy, but. Here's, here's the thing I gotta address, man. Uh huh. Cause everybody, bruh, I feel like, like I don't understand like the uproar, right? They were like, Will, Will was so wrong. He shouldn't have smacked them. He shouldn't have. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe he shouldn't have smacked them. But let's keep it a buck. You've seen people get smacked before. For way less, bro. For, for way less. For way less, man. Like let's 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 keep it a buck here, bro. Like, cause cause everybody like, man, nah, man. He's just trying to protect his ego and ego did it. Like, bro, how many fights have happened because of a man's ego? Mm. Like when ego was involved. Like how how many times can a, a fight been avoided? If, if if a man just swallowed his pride, a lot. Exactly, a bro. lot. Yeah, a lot, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh man, you you know, it was all about ego. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it was a little bit about ego. But I've seen a lot of fights where you know what I'm saying. Uh, what's going on, Amanda? Um, where ego was involved in in a fight that happens all the damn time. Right. So I don't give a shit about Will's ego. Another thing I don't give a shit about. Let's talk about it. Put, put the camera on. Put, put, put the goddamn camera on. All right. Another thing I want to talk about. I don't give a fuck what Jada did in the past. I don't care. Don't talk to me about no August situation. Yeah. I don't give yeah, a shit yeah. about August or Jada and what she talk about on the Red Table Talk. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because first, 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 first off, Will is fucking. You think Jada the only one out here fucking? Will is fucking <laughs> that white girl, Mario Robbie. You trying to tell me he ain't smash old girl? Hell yeah, hell yeah. He. The only difference is, Margaret Robbie wasn't airing Will's dirty laundry out like August Alcina. That's the only difference. They had they have open marriage. That's what they signed up for. So I don't want to hear shit about their open marriage and what's disrespect and what. Clearly, Will doesn't find it as disrespect. Right. Because he signed up for it. They, if they, if they cool with, 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 you know, sleeping with other people, then that's cool. That's whatever it is. That's whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I want to hear about no August. I want to hear about Jada, whatever she talking about in the direction. That's y'all problem. Y'all got a problem with that. Will clearly doesn't have an issue with it. Clearly. He don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he signed up for. Right. So no matter the, no matter the fact he's married to this woman and clearly he loves her. That's it. That's you it. know what I'm saying? And so, you know what I'm saying? What that is, is just a black man protecting his wife. Absolutely. A black woman. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hey, y'all talk all the time. Protect black women, protect black women, protect black women. 
Now when a man actually protects a black woman, y'all got a fucking problem with it. It's a fucking get, issue now. Get the fuck out of here. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I've seen niggas get smacked for way less. For man. way fucking less. You know what? The last time I see a nigga get slapped that hard, man, it was over a fucking space game. A fucking space game. A nigga got slapped that hard, yo. It's no man, look, but but you know what? It's it's three things. It's three things that we learned from Chris Rock getting slapped. I just want you, I, I want to play it one more time because I want y'all to just see the walk up and see the slap. And I'm gonna explain to you the three things that we learned. Hold on, I'm gonna play it again. I'm gonna play it again from the slap. That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. All right, so look. It's three things that you learned from that slap, right? Never put your fucking guard down. Why was your hands behind your back, dog? Like, never put your fucking guard down. The second thing, right? Secure that fucking bag. Because he was like, wow. Really, dude? Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. Like, all you can do is just tell everybody what they just witnessed, right? And number three is re repeat steps one and two. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Sorry, bro. Yeah, we here. We here about protecting protecting black women. That's what that's what we talk about. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Listen, man. <laughs> Yo, y'all got this nigga started now. Bruh, no, no, because like I'm tired. I'm tired of people having an issue with with Will doing what he did. All right. So another thing, right? All right. Let's talk about it, right? So All right. another thing, right? They people are like, nah, he should have did this, or he should have did that, or, or you know, he should have, he could have stood up for her without, 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 without smacking Chris. You're right, you're right. He didn't have to smack Chris, but he did. But he did. He and, fucking did. And let's be clear. Let's be fucking clear here. Disrespect does not have to be. Um. Does not have to. What's the word I'm looking for? Does not have to be combated with equal force. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My retaliation and disrespect doesn't have to doesn't have to doesn't have to equate equal force. If you spit in my face, does that mean I have to spit in your face? Fuck no, no, nigga, I'm I get to kill you. I'm gonna beat the shit. Out of you. <laughs> nigga, I get to kill you, nigga. If you spit in my face. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. It ain't no well. He shouldn't have hit him unless he hit. no. That's not how it goes down. And I'm I'm gonna be real. One time, man, I was popping shit. I was popping shit out some dude, and the dude he stole on me, bro. He stole on me, right? Mm. And nobody was like, "Nah, man, he should have just talked shit back," or "Man, he should have swallowed his ego." Nah, everybody came to me and said, "Bro, you shouldn't have been talking shit." Yeah, and it was right. I shouldn't have been talking shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get what's coming to you. You know what I'm saying? You disrespect somebody. You know what I mean? Sometimes they might come talk junk. Sometimes they might smack the shit. And right. that's just what happened. That's just they what happened. Smack the shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the, yeah, the, the shit smacked them. To me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he disrespected first. Will came, disrespected right back. Boom. Yeah. All but that. but it's crazy, it's Look. crazy how niggas try to justify the shit. They pull August Austin into it. Yeah. They pulled Tupac into it. You know, recipes, Tupac. Like they pulled a lot of niggas into the shit. And it was just like, bro, but none of them niggas was there. So I didn't. None of that shit matters. Yeah, none, none of that shit. I don't hear about no Tupac. I don't none of that. None of that shit. None of that shit even equates. None of that shit. Y'all better. Y'all better on your. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, like dead ass. So yeah. look. So look. You disrespect, I, I am, You gotta own what comes with that shit. So so I'm 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 of this ilk, right? I'm of the ilk where if you disrespect somebody. The the retaliation needs to be just as loud. So Chris Rock is a loud individual. Anyway, his mic was probably turned down to the lowest octave it could be because the nigga's loud, right? So you saying this shit with his wife right there, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, like I don't have a mic on me. I'm not finna yell my commentary, nigga. I'm just gonna walk up and slap the shit out of you. Who the fuck is gonna stop me? I'm fucking Will Smith. That's it. And you know what? That's what I love about it, bro. No one else could have got away with this except Will Smith, bro. Like, how many people can get away with walking on stage, 
Smacking the Denzel, shit. Denzel, Denzel could have got, could have got, yeah, 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 Denzel yeah, could have yeah, got away with it. Yeah, but yeah, there's not too many people who can pull that off, bro. And he had to go back, sit down, and accept an award after the shit. After the so shit, except, gangster. except the fucking award. That's so damn gangster. All right, so look, Samuel L. Jackson dapped him up. Afterwards, like during the commercial break, they got a uh, it's a clip floating around really? where, where, where everybody is dapping Will up afterwards. Will has the award in his hand and they're dapping Will up afterwards. And and Samuel L. Jackson just gives this look of approval like, nigga, I've been wanting to slap the shit out of Chris for fucking years, <laughs> nigga. Like, nigga, like what? Like his hand came like this. Like, you know, when you when, when a nigga do something that you agree with, like, nigga, I done did that shit too, nigga. Ah! You know what I'm saying? Like. Listen, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling it, it, it was a wild shit, man. Look, bro. Yeah, whatever you think about Will and Jada and their marriage is fucking irrelevant. Mm-hmm. It's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. And, bro, and it, it, but it ain't got nothing to do with the situation. You no, know what I'm no, saying? No, no, not at, at all. At all. That's still his wife at the end of the day. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I. I don't. I don't care if my wife is doing whatever, 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 cheating, blah, 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 whatever. You still don't come and be like, "Yo, man, your wife's a bitch." Like, bro, what the fuck? You know? Yeah, what right. Even if I'm talking shit about my own wife, you don't join in and be like, "Yeah, man, that whole ass man, she for the street." I'm like, nigga, what the fuck you say about my wife? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. I get to talk shit about my wife. Y'all don't get to talk shit about my. Wife. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, you know what I mean? Even if I was to do that, you know what I'm saying? So it don't matter what you think about their marriage or their relationship. All y'all. Who are who's hating on Will? Y'all just fucking projecting. Y'all seeing niggas get smacked all the damn time, and y'all don't say shit. Mm-hmm. When a, when a, when a when a when a black man smacks smacks a dude for disrespecting his wife, now it's a damn problem. Get out of here, bro. So fuck out of here. So so it was a uh, it was a white Twitter and black Twitter uh, correspondence. White Twitter said uh, they they uh, they have lost all respect for Will Smith. My take on that is if white people have lost respect for you, you've done something morally right. I'm going to say it again. If white people have lost respect for you for something that you did, you did something morally right. Point blank period, man. That's all I'm going to say because, you know. Listen, this podcast is Protect Black Women Podcast. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. So, you know what I mean? All that other stuff, man. And protect your wife, bro. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I, I, I may have or may, may not have said you know what I'm saying? Whatever people talking about, like he's protecting his ego, blah, 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 whatever, whatever the case may be, disrespect to your wife or disrespect to my wife is disrespect to me. You get what I'm saying? My wife is an extension of me. So if you disrespect right. her, you disrespect me. So you can say, oh, Will made it about him. No, 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 no. You made it about Will when you disrespected his wife. Right. Absolutely. Right. So That's some exactly. of y'all, some, some of y'all, you know, might not be married or not know what it's like to really love somebody because you know what I mean. Like when you when you disrespecting my loved one, or if you disrespect my mama, my, now you made it about me. Yeah. It could have been about you know what I'm saying. It could have been about that. You you talk about my family, my my brother, my bro here. You know what I'm saying. Now you made it about me. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Because that's family. So you don't talk about family. So it is what it is. That's facts. That's fact. That nigga kicked the shit out that car for me. <laughs> sure did. Sure did. That nigga said, that nigga said, crazy ass bitch. <laughs> sure Don't disrespect the homie. Don't disrespect oh, the homie. Man. You disrespect the homie, now you disrespect I was me. blinded. I was blinded was by blind. some cheap ass vodka. Yeah. And this nigga kicked the shit out the car. It was That was the funniest moment in life after the fact. Or whatever, but that shit was. But my nigga held me down. He was like, "Yo, the fuck, y'all, y'all crazy and shit. The fuck you throw me call my nigga." Yeah, like I smelled the like vodka the rest of the night. Like I was just like, "Why I keep smelling vodka? Sick to my stomach, man." Anyway, yeah. That's speaking fun. about speaking about relationships, man. Um, so Meg The Stallion is coming out with a documentary. Okay, she's coming out with a documentary, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna cover the uh, Tory Lanez incident in her documentary. Um. You know what? I respect Tory Lanez so much because Tory Lanez has not said a fucking word Tor- for the past. Was it been three years now since the incident happened at uh, at the Jenner household? I think it's been about three years now. Two and a half, three years. Let's just round up to three, right? I don't know if he ain't say nothing. Uh, well, he hasn't said he hasn't said anything to demean Megan Thee Stallion. Meg, Meg, yeah, he hasn't, yeah. but. 
Megan Thee Stallion has said everything to demean his character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yo, at the end of the day, the facts is going to tell itself. In order, just coming from the criminal justice background that I come from, in order for that nigga to get bond on a domestic violence situation, because that's that, that would have been what it was, in order for him to make any kind of bond, he would have had to not, he had it's some evidence there that he ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? In order for him to have a bond, it was some evidence there that he ain't do shit. Now, if you fire a gun, if we go to the gun range today, right? We go to gun range today, we leave the gun range, uh, we get pulled over by the cops. They say, oh, it's a shooting in the area. You know what I'm saying? We need to uh we need to scrub your scrub your hands and under your fingernails for uh gunpowder gun powder residue. Mm-hmm. If they don't find any gunpowder residue on the alleged assailant, how did he fire a gun? Because you can't wash that off with fucking dial soap. Nigga, you need that fucking soap that the uh mechanics use. You know what I'm saying? To get right. the to get the grease and grime off their fingers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like you know, I I I've I've already lost all respect for Megan Thee Stallion. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I want her to still be prosperous, still do her thing, but I just kinda lost all respect for her, uh, you know, because of that. Um, yeah, especially like the details coming out. Like apparently she mad because he like smashed her friend or something like mm-hmm. that. And so, hey, you now, see, they're not friends no more. Yeah. If they, if, if 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 that was your girl and she was in a car with you, why are you not friends with her no more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because she told you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because you got fucked up, couldn't remember what happened. So your girl told you the truth. Your Tori ain't shoot your ass. Like, why are you? Why are you out here? You know. I'm surprised it was actually fucking. I was surprised by that. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Yo, yo, that that nigga Tory, man. I don't know, man. Uh, Tory. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Shit. Savage, bro. Yeah, yeah shit. Man. Give me a show that I can play her play play the piano well, with really her savage. ass. Savage, man. You're not doing Tory. You, <laughs> you didn't, fucking man, stupid. You and your best friend, and now you mad. It's right? one more. It's one more I want to cover, man. Over this celebrity shit, man. I got to Jesse Smollett, man. Um, fucking Jesse Smollett, man. So they 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 uh they are filing an appeal for Jesse Smollett, man, to get him. Uh, no, he's out. He's out. Yeah, Jesse yeah. Smollett is out. Yeah, Jesse yeah. Smollett is out of uh out of jail. Uh, so he was uh he was uh locked up in the psych ward for a day, and then in general pop for like six days, and then they got him an appeal, and he he's he's gotten out, and they're trying to clear him on all charges. And I was like, yo. If that ain't Hollywood, Hollywood, I wonder, did the president of the of the alphabet community step in? Because you know how they canceled the baby and the baby had to make a public apology and pay money to the to the alphabet community. I wonder, did that is it is it a debt that Jesse now has to pay um, to the alphabet community? You know what I'm saying? Once he gets out. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe you know what I'm saying because that was their boy. That was their boy that, for, for for a minute. That was their boy. And then they they got kind of silent. Boy, that nigga while. said he was the gay Tupac, bro. Like I I can't, I can't get over that shit, yo. Like the only thing that plays in my head is that this nigga wasted taxpayers' money. This nigga wasted everybody's time because everybody was invested in the shit. Like we was watching Empire. We were watching Empire. You know what I'm saying? We were like, yo, like yo, why the fuck they do this to Jesse? Why the fuck did the details start coming out? Well, why the fuck was he at Subway at three in the morning? What Subway is open at three in the morning? Who the fuck are these Nigerian twins that are Trump supporters? Right. <laughs> you know, Nigerian Trump supporters. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a noose. Just so happens. Right. Just had the noose on them, carrying it with them because they knew they were going to see you. Right. At, at three the, in the morning at Subway. At Subway. Like, who the fuck? Like. It's, you know, it's, it's just too much. It's just too much. Don't get me invested in a story and then lie. You know what I'm saying? It's like I have no, I have no reason but to trust you until you lie to me. Now, anything that Jesse comes out with now, I know is a lie. You know? No, 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 no. no fucking Smollett. <laughs> nigga, who last name is Smollett, nigga? Yo. And another thing we got to touch on that we didn't touch on last podcast. What was that? Chris Brown over here getting sued for twenty million dollars for what? For an, oh, you haven't heard? No, I haven't heard. All right, Chris Brown has been accused of rape. For those of you who don't 
No. Oh man. What, what, uh, Chris what? Brown accused in lawsuit of drugging and raping a woman in Miami. This is he Bill Cosby the chick. That's what she is alleging that this happened. Allegedly. Alleged. Allegedly, this is what she's saying happened on Diddy. Well, I don't know if it's Diddy's yacht. Diddy was throwing the party or something. It might have been his yacht. It might have been someone else's yacht. Okay. Anyway, All Diddy right. was on the party on a yacht. Don't know if it was his or not. All right. So Diddy's name was on the party. We could say that. And yeah. Diddy's name was on the party. Okay. P- apparently, there was blah, 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 blah. And then she got uh, on, the, on the yacht. She was, she was drugged and raped. Now... Story gets interesting. Okay. Because then Chris Brown releases some text messages. Mm hmm. And let's say uh, these uh, text messages didn't really, the stories weren't really matching up. Okay. All right. So we got another, we got another uh, Megan, Megan, um, and um, Tory situation where the stories don't match Tory's up. Tory's really wasn't adding up. Um, Cause she's like hitting him up, you know, hey, what you doing? I'm trying to come through. It was like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's like, hey, what's up? Trying to come through. Uh, let's see. And apparently, uh, Chris um, actually like stopped texting her for a while. Mm-hmm. And she's still like texting this man, like yo, trying to come through, like yo, what's good? Like, For those of you, since y'all can't see, it, I'm looking at it and like it's the fucking gray bubble. Keep going down, and he's not texting back. And yeah, gray bubble. She, he's not texting back. She's saying, "What you doing, babe? You up? I'm coming home with you tonight. Uh, you know, what I'm saying where you at? You know what I mean? Like, and then uh, you know, he, he even uh released some voice clips and uh. You know, she was talking about like, you know, you haven't blocked me yet, so I guess you're not mad at me. And you know, what's up? And wow. she even said, "Oh, it's the best, best sex ever." All this other. Wow. Sounds like a person who was raped to me. Now I don't really know what happened, but the text messages don't really align with what she was saying. Right. So. Be careful, fellas. Yeah, man. This is Be this is careful. And then why is she suing him instead of bringing up criminal charges against him? Well, see, that's always red flag. She's going for the money. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He stopped. He, he realized that she was a a, a cling, a, 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 you know, one of those clingers. That she was a little crazy. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, man, we gotta. Yeah, we, he, he he tried to get out of it, and she got mad. And yeah, that's, we, that's what it sounded like to me, man. I mean, maybe something happened. I don't know, you know. But it don't sound like something happened to me. Yeah, until know. until that shit is proven that that nigga did that shit, it's gonna be allegedly for me, and it's gonna be allegedly until you know what I'm saying. Like, cause I I hate the fact that we do a lot of things as a black community, and we blame black men for shit before they're actually convicted of it. You know what I'm saying? It's innocent until proven guilty. That the other way around. That that is the foundation of our justice system. Innocent until proven guilty. Now, do we do we do that with uh with the court of public opinion? Absolutely, the fuck not. However, we should we should. You are innocent until you are proven guilty. Except OJ, he did that shit. <laughs> he definitely did that shit. Oh man! But yeah, everyone. Yeah. Or 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 any nigga named Brown when it comes to a DV situation. James Brown, Chris Brown. No, let, me uh, let me stop. 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 But uh, but no, like real shit though, man. Like yeah, innocent until proven guilty, man. You gonna have to. You gonna have to come with a lot more than that. But I'm happy that Chris had the wherewithal to keep these fucking text messages. Bro, and I'm ha- smart as hell. Yeah, and I'm happy. I'm happy that yeah, there there are and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, my dude, my dude was smart. He protected himself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, save them fucking voice clips, nigga. You yeah. never know when you gonna need that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Bro. So yeah, hey, for sure, you, for sure. All right, you ready to get into the fuck shit? Oh boy, here we go. All right. So they just came out with male birth control. It's like, no, they announced it. They announced sign it. Sign me up. They announced male birth control, yo. You said sign you up. Sign me up. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was uh, I was having a conversation with one of my homegirls, and I and we were talking about male birth control, and I was like, well, damn, if they come out with male birth control, man, you know, birth control be making 
women gain weight. I was like, damn, maybe that'll make me gain some weight. I can get a little girth to me and shit. You know what I mean, I said, yeah, sign me up for that shit. Hell yeah. yeah. But you know, but you know how high STDs would rise if if we had like if male birth control was out on the streets right now. Wrong, STDs wrong. STDs would be through the fucking roof, yo. Every, everybody would have AIDS, yo. Like STD, everybody would have AIDS and herpes. Like your STDs would be through the fucking roof, yo. At the club, bro. You not you? No, you're not. You're shooting blades. You're shooting blades. You're coming in there with a gun that says "bang." You know what I mean? Like, yo, you're not doing anything. I got. I got to see how this thing works. I got to read the details. Yeah, you know, man. I, 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 fuck I, around. I, fuck around. The side effects be total scrotal implosion. Oh <laughs> no! You know what I mean? If you are suffering from total scrotal implosion, God damn! Bro. Call a loved one. I mean, call you, a doctor. You know what'd be <laughs> fucked up if one of the side effects was a uh, erectile dysfunction. Like, what the fuck, bro? I bet you that's one of the, one of the side effects. It's got to be, bro. It's got to be. Then why the fuck? Yeah. I don't even need this if my dick ain't going to work. Like, right, gonna work. right, right, right. Make you flaccid. Like, how does... But shit, yo, dead ass, though. I, I have ran into some females that said birth control made them dry. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I've heard that. Oh shit! What if that shit we, make we you gonna classic, have to, we dog? Gonna have to, we gonna have to read the box on that. Oh nigga, I'm gonna read the box, WebMD, all that shit, bro. I got, I gotta know all the, I gotta know all the factors. But you know what's what's gonna be crazy, and what niggas don't talk about the convert, the birth control conversation. You ever had a birth control conversation with a shorty? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a birth control conversation, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, let me put the camera on me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like shorty, like I, you know. We, we, we've been doing what we've been doing. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to take the rubber off. You know what I mean? Like, but I, 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 I ain't ready for, I ain't ready to be no dad yet. So, you know, how, how about you get on that birth control? You know what I'm saying? That conversation going to be totally different now. It's going to be reversed. Like, nigga, I ain't getting on that shit. Nigga, you get on birth control. Like, oh, shit. She gonna Damn. Like, she going to be like, where the condom? I'm like, don't worry, baby. I'm on the pill. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what is wrong with I'm you, bro? Yeah, don't worry about it. Get that, get that condom out of here. I'm on the pill. This nigga said I'm on the pill. But but you know what? I do think I, I think it's a good thing. I do think it's a good thing because as as men, as men, we are built differently from women and them shooting those chemicals into their body to stop the natural flow of reproduction is a hardship. You know what I'm saying? Like birth control for women is a hardship. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I carry that load for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We do a year at a time, shorty. Five you years at a time. You gonna be carrying your load cause you ain't gonna be <laughs> shooting it. <laughs> you was waiting to get that one off. I know, I you to. you I was waiting to get that up. one off. You yeah, I did set it up. I did set it up. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, like, you know, let me carry that load and shit. You know what I mean? Like. Yo, bro, when I heard that they had the, the IUDs were like surgically implanted and shit, like anytime you go to any kind of surgery, it's a possibility you might die, my nigga. Like anytime I want you, you to get the I want the shit in my arm. That's what I want. Oh my fucking Put the god. In my arm and then like boom, I'm gonna shoot blanks from there. I'm good with that. And yeah, that, that shit would be fucking crazy. The depot, what it, y'all know what it's called. No, man. it's not the depot. The depot is what they get in their butt. Oh, what is it? What, what is this called? It's the fucking. They put the slit in the fucking arm, and, and you can on, feel it. it. I don't know. Y'all know what it's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all ladies know what it's called. Yeah, we are yeah, we, yeah. we 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 stupid men. We don't yeah, know what yeah, it's give called. Give me the joint in the arm that I ain't got to worry about for like five years. Yeah, with everybody. my little band aid for a couple and of days I'm, I'm and forget, shit. I'm gonna forget to take the pill. I'll be real with you, bro. I'm. Uh, Next point, I, I was close. No, or maybe not. Next point, on. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Tim. Because yeah. we didn't know what the fuck we, we was talking about. We yeah. knew what we was talking about. We just didn't know the name yeah, of the yeah, shit. Because I'm going to forget to take my pill one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you be like, damn, did I take that? You wake up the next morning, damn, did I take that pill? Did I take the pill or not? God damn. Shit. It's going to be a drunk night. You be like, fuck. I'm going to be like, baby, I think I forgot to take the pill. And. I know you, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the oh. C niggas with the fucking scrolly wheel shit Damn. and popping out them fucking pills. Yo, that shit is going to be priceless, yo. She gonna come at you with your um with your pills with the days, yeah, the yeah. days on it. Nigga, Nigga did you did you miss a pill? <laughs> Cause I know you ain't have a rubber on last night. Oh uh, hell no. 
Oh my god. <laughs> It's gonna be crazy. Yo, that shit is fucking wild, yo. Some crazy but you know what, though? They got so much, so many uh, options of contraception for not having a baby, but they still ain't cured cancer yet. Yeah, that's crazy. You can have sex without a rubber, bust in a chick, and then go to CVS and get a plan B. Yeah. For $40. It's a little expensive, man. But it is, it is, it is. But something that miracle drug should be two thousand dollars. You get what I'm saying? Because that's a that that's a fucking miracle drug. Yeah. You are stopping. You are stopping life. You are putting a halt to the reproduction process. That's that's just fucking crazy to me, man. They, they even got one. They even got one, but you got to go to the doctor for it. They even got one that that works within five days of having unprotected sex. I just found that out. That's crazy. I just found that out. I said, "Yo, what the fuck?" I said, "Yo, I'm doing all this research on fucking male birth control, and this shit pop up, and then you know it was like you know uh, women's birth control, you know some shit I already knew about IUDs and all, you know all that other shit, and I'm looking at the fucking uh, I forget what it's called, but the fucking pit said only prescribed by a doctor uh, prevents pregnancy within five days of taking. I said, oh shit! I said niggas can wait a whole week too. I said, oh that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Oh, man. It's like sex education on the internet. I just want to be able to get my pill from Planned Parenthood. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because I want, I want, I want to get the discount rate. You know, what I'm saying? You, you know, I want to go in that line and see oh. niggas I know. My dog, I know what you here for, my nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you, but you beat something down tonight, huh? Yeah, nigga. Me too. Me too, my nigga. Me too. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that club all the way up. Bang. <laughs> bang, bang. Oh shit, that no shit's funny as fuck. Of- um, so, <laughs> all right. So since we're on the topic of sex, man, you know what? You know, what really grinds my gears, dog. Oh, boy. You know, what really grinds my gears, dog. What grinds gears? Women's judgment. Women's judgment grinds my gears. Let me put the camera on me oh. real quick. Women's judgment grinds my gears. Let me tell y'all about yourself real quick, man. Oh, y'all, just, we just lost a fucking viewer because I said because I said that shit. I don't give a fuck. We lost two viewers. Shit, I gotta stop talking. All right, so look, what really grinds my gears is when women judge you on the ugly chick that you had sex with. If I beat down some ugly. From like 2016, right? And we just we just happen to be out, I man. You know, I'm in a whole relationship, badass young, right? And you see her, and she speak to me, and I speak to her. You be like, how you know her? Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. We smashed once or twice. I'm gonna be honest about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie on my dick. You know what I'm saying? I, I see the positives and the negatives. You know what I'm saying? If I beat down an ugly jaw, I beat down an ugly jaw. You know what I'm saying? So don't judge me. Don't judge me because within a year, I, I within a year. Within a year, a woman can date six, seven, eight, nine, ten men, have sex with all of them, and not come. That ugly bitch made me come. Oh my god! You went a whole year without coming. Who's losing this scenario, nigga? I got my nut. What's up? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't <laughs> cap. You, you like the hell you yo, yo AJ, I fucking hate you, dog. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. She had a good personality. You know what I mean? Like, she had a good personality. But however, however, you know what I'm saying? If I'm with the bad John, and she see and she and she find out I had sex with the ugly John, she gonna judge me. She gonna like, oh man, that's that's what you like. That's what you like. That's what got me my nut that particular night. Like, I won't I'm, who knows? I could have took one for the team. I could have took one for the team. I won't go have my man smashing in the next room and me sitting here with this viable option. You know what I'm saying? When I'm drunk, she a four, but right now she looking like a seven. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's passable for the moment, you know? What AJ talk about? AJ talking some shit. You and Subi coming to the next pod. We got to talk. Yeah, bro. We coming to the next pod, man. We coming to the next pod, but back on the topic, man. Back on the topic, man. Yeah. Um, 
And I and I do know I do know for some women for some women it's harder to make y'all come. I do I do understand that. But y'all gotta stop with the zzz, the, zzz, you know, zzz, the feeling out your fucking pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like zzz, every fucking two seconds. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, zzz, zzz, switch the batteries. Zzz, like yo, you're not all the feeling out your fucking coochie. That's why it's hard for you to come. I ain't gonna say that for everyone, but majority of y'all with that fucking rose. You know what I'm saying? You're fucking not the filling out your pussy because you put the rose on fucking on 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 fucking uh on fucking eight. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, you gonna fucking tear your fucking clit off? No, bro. Like um, that is true. Like I don't know if women even. I assume they notice, but I don't know if women notice. But like, yeah, like the more y'all masturbate. The more y'all like desensitize yourselves, right. it's gonna make it harder. You know what I'm saying? For, you know what I'm saying for you to 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 get your nut off when you're having sex with a dude. So that's I don't that's know if you're gonna be able to do this because ain't no nigga ever made me come. Only my rose make me come, bitch. You gonna go use a fucking robot then? Shit, the fuck, nigga, bring the robot over here because I'm only gonna do but so much. Because once I get mine, I'm going to sleep. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm, Nigga, I'm 34 years old, nigga. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? You get you get two and a half rounds out of me. Two and a half on a on, on a on, on a good night on some henny. Oh, you might get you might get four. Four and a half. But after that, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. I gotta go to work the next morning. That's all you getting out the kid. You feel me? It's that shit don't bother me at all. You know what? When I was when I was younger, I was self conscious about that shit, yo. I had a woman that uh that I was with, man. Um, her and I were living together, right? I fucking beat the brakes off that pop, pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? In my twenties, I'm going six, seven, eight rounds. Pop, pop, pop. This is my little sex pose from my twenties. You know what I'm saying? I was active, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm bomb, 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 banging the banging the fucking walls out that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I did a good job. Go wipe my dick off. Go get in the bed. Then you know what I'm saying? I start going to sleep, and all I hear is. I said, yo, what the fuck, yo? What the fuck? What the fuck, yo? Like, yo, I I, I cannot, yo. I can't. I can't do it, yo. I, I, I we can't com- we can't compete with the rose. Like I said on the rose episode, right? We can't compete with the rose. We gotta work with the rose. Point blank period. We gotta work with the rose. That's it. Say what about the Sex Master Three Thousand? God, uh, what what is the what is the Sex Master Three Thousand? I ordered new rolls, waiting on the right one. <laughs> I mean, shit, nigga, I got I got a couple um, unopened boxes. You know what I'm saying? In the room, nigga, like yo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With, but, that, with the extra lubrication. <laughs> yeah, bro. Look, bro. I'm bro. You as a male, if you do not have sex toys, you know what I'm saying? Like on the ready, ready to go. Nigga, I caught a I caught a sale from Adam and Eve on the fucking roses, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I bought a couple of them shits. Because you know, shit, you know, I use you know what I'm saying? If I got a steady sexual partner, I ain't gonna use it on every shit. But if I got a steady sexual partner, all right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I might pull out the rose for you, you know what I'm saying? I don't want the sex to get boring and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, pull out the rose for you, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I can't believe you use toys. Yeah, big guy. Mm, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how that's how I do it. You know what I'm saying? When I do it, I put I put, I put the hand right here. For fucking, for fucking backing, and you know what I'm saying, do my thing. I mean, while I'm struggling this shit, it's an art to this shit, man. It's an art to it, yo. I'm telling you. Um, so earlier I mentioned, well, not earlier, just a few minutes ago, I mentioned, you know, being in your twenties. I, I and I want to ask you, I want to ask you because I had a conversation with this young boy, and um. He was telling me that he was in love, which made me think about the last podcast yeah, yeah, where yeah. we were talking. You know, we were yeah, talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, yeah, he, he was confused. Down on, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you really feel like you could be in love in your twenties, dog? Yeah, I feel like you can be in love. <sighs> I think I'm on the opposite end of that spectrum, dog. I don't think you can be in love in your twenties. All right, well, what's your reasoning? As a man in my twenties, nigga, I was trying to fuck everything moving. Like that was like the height of my fucking sexual sexual prowess. Like my 
my strength, my strength sex in my fucking 20s, right, was impeccable. AJ, shut the fuck up. I'm not putting your comments on the fucking shit. I, my strength sex was high as hell. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, why would I not share this with everything fucking moving? Now, I've learned to value myself in my 30s. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, like, I know that I can't fuck everything moving, and I know that what I do in the bedroom is a fu- it's, it's fucking demon time. It's fucking demon time. You know, I'm going to pat myself on the back. It's fucking demon time, yo. It's I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's probably only a handful of women who who can ever say that I've given them bad sex. And it's logical explanations behind all of those. Behind every last single one of them. And you know what that logical explanation is? Demon dog. <laughs> and you know what that logical explanation is? Just wasn't into it. I was just doing it because it was something to do. You know? Like, have you ever had sex just to be doing it because it's something to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel you. I feel, I feel like, though, I feel like, though, you're making two different points. And here, here's what I say. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like you're grouping in being in love and being monogamous grouped in together. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be in love and still be cheating. Just because you're cheating don't mean you, you're not in love. I come home to you every night, shorty. <laughs> I don't love these hoes. Bruh, that's what I'm saying. You can love a chick, you know what I'm saying? But what, what's going on with them is strictly physical. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like, yeah, you could be in your 20s. You could be in love with a chick. But then at the same time, bro, like you just like, you know what, bro? I just, I just, I'm, I'm trying to see what these streets talk about. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I so I do feel like you could still be in love, but I do understand, like, yo, when you're in the, your your twenties, like, a lot of guys, and I'm not gonna say all guys, but I feel like a lot of guys, man, they just like, yo, I'm trying to see what's up. But I feel like everyone's journey is different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every guy gets to that point where they just like. All right, I'm done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it and it and it happens in different different stages. You know what I'm saying? In, in your life, you know what I'm saying? But no, no, no. Because yeah, I've, I've I've been in love at, at a at a young age, and and I would say it was actually easier for me to fall in love at a younger age because I was ignorant to the bullshit. It's, there you go. I was That's ignorant right. to the bullshit. Now it's That's right. See now, you know, being in my thirties, it's going to be even harder for me to fall in love because I'm. Looking at too many angles, right? I got yeah. I got a cynical mind now. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm looking out for everything. You know what I mean? I'm not just like so quick to be like, "Oh, she's the one." The... Nah, you know what I'm saying? That that was me early on in my life. Now I'm like, yeah, you know, she 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 got a lot of good things about her, but I got to do a little bit more more research. Got to do a little bit more bang. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah. So do you think? Um... <laughs> Hey, bro, what's your stance on condoms, my nigga? <laughs> hey, that segue was crazy, but I had to, I had to do it, yeah, man. That was, that was a wild segue. Yeah, I had to do it, man. What's your stance on on condoms? Like, yeah, do like, you... should should people wear them or like, what are you, what are you, what are you asking? Nigga, I'm asking you your personalized stance on condoms, nigga. I like, I hate condoms, but I wear them. They're a necessary evil. They are a necessary. I've never heard anybody put it like they that. Are they are a necessary, necessary evil. What what makes them evil, sir? First, if they're necessary, oh man, because it's like two different worlds, man. Like when you have sex with the condom and without the condom, right? It's like two different worlds. And not only that, like even the woman that you're with, like even they tell me, like God, dog, bro, without the condom, it's just completely different. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit is fucking right. Oh, that shit is fucking bliss without that rub on. It's different for them. It's different for me. You know what I'm saying? And now if y'all both enjoying it more, that just intensifies it that much more for the both of y'all. And then y'all both are getting enjoyment out of it. You know what I mean? So the condom is just like. Uh, and then you know what I mean, like God forbid, it's an old condom and it's you know, not as lubricated as it wanted to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you ever, have you ever like, have you ever like started off with the condom, accidentally had sex without the condom, and then went back to the condom? 
Oh yeah, oh man, that dude, shit like, is the fucking worst. That's a fucking tease, yo. It's like, it's like, yo, like you know, what I'm saying, you doing your thing, and you get <laughs> some <laughs> shit. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so I hey, 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 that's a, that's a evil. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. I get that part. I get that part. But no, I'm talking about like on accident because I mean, shit, the shit really can happen on accident, man. The shit could really happen, like you know, what I'm saying your intent is to be responsible. Her intent is to be responsible, but something happens along those responsible lines where something like liquor may be involved. Uh, it may be some drugs involved. It may be liquor and drugs involved. You know what I'm saying? And the kind of just doesn't happen to come into play. Then what? Then it's like, fuck me, man. Like, that shit was fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the alcohol and the drugs making it amazing, but that shit was fucking amazing. And it's like, fuck. Now we got to go back to this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, man. Because you ever, like, be at that time where y'all just kind of, like, rubbing on each other and then they, like, accidentally slip in and then you just like, shit. I'm in there now. Yeah, she, bro, if she got something, you got it too now. Fuck I'm it. In, I'm in Fuck there it. now. So no, bro, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that shit happened to me before, bro. And like, I was trying to be responsible. Nigga, the condo was, was right next to me, bro. The condo was right next to me. She on top of me. We kissing each other. Da, 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 whoop, de, whoop. She just happens to, I fucking grabbed her ass and she just happens to slip up and then slip on my shit. I was like, Fuck it now, nigga. I just don't just don't bust in a nigga like that. At, at that point, that's what you gotta say. Right. That's, she, that's what you gotta she say. Got some, you, you, you got it now. I got it now. You Shit. Got I, it now. I'm just gonna get checked out tomorrow, man. Yeah. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like ho- hopefully we all good. We're gonna have an adult conversation right. in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like right. Love it, bro. But you know what? But you know what? I, I've learned that I've learned that older women really respect, you know what I'm saying, the conversation afterwards. Like not ignoring the fact that yo, we just had raw sex and you know what I'm saying, like we didn't get checked beforehand. What older women actually actually pretty are, are, are like pretty intuitive on that. Like you 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 talk to them and be like, yo, like um, you know, you talk to them next day when y'all sober. Cause nine times out of ten there's some alcohol involved in there. That, that's why y'all weren't responsible. But you know, you talk to them after the fact and be like, yo, like um yeah, so what's up with getting checked, yo? You, 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 you. We need to go ahead and do that shit. We get next day off. You know what I'm saying? We roll up to the to the spot or whatever. We you know we can order the little kit online and shit. You know what I'm saying? Do a little rush delivery and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be, be, be look, be an adult, be responsible, yeah. be responsible, communicate, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't if if you don't want kids, if you, and you want to make sure that you fucking clean. You know what I'm saying? Just go get checked, nigga. Like, you know, it ain't, it ain't, you know what? To be honest with you, um, we were pubbing, um, we were sponsored by letsgetchecked.com. Um, uh, bro, they got the whole fucking five, five major shits that you can get tested for. You ain't got to put the shit in your dick. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what niggas hate. That's why niggas don't go to the clinic because they got to, you got to put the shit in your dick. They, and if they fucking rotate it around like 80 million times, no nigga enjoys that shit at all. That shit is fucking uncomfortable. That shit is fucking uncomfortable. Oh that's, my god! That's the light way of putting the, it. The, the 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 piss that you have after that, even if you clean, the piss that you have after that make you think you got a fucking STD because that shit fucking hurts. Like yo, like nobody likes that shit. So they have some shit now. You just pee in a fucking bag. Highly, highly uncomfortable. Yeah, you just pee in a fucking bag, you pour it in a tube, you know what I'm saying? You seal it up, you put it in a box, and you send it off. You know what I'm saying? And they'll check for every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want, like, the, the HIV stuff, you got to take a little blood work, pitch your fucking finger and shit. But other than that, no, then you good. You know what I'm saying? Like, after that, you, you straight. You, you know what I'm saying? You gravy. You know what I'm saying? If you got some shit, they send you the medicine. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to wait in line at the clinic. See some nigga you know. See some chick you know. Like, damn, nigga. Like, yo, I was going to hop in your DMs. Nigga, I've been in your DMs. Yo, you got some shit? Like, yo, that is the most uncomfortable shit ever, yo. Like, being in the clinic and, like, seeing niggas you know or seeing chicks that you've tried to holler at or seeing chicks that you have hollered at and be like, damn, bitch, who burnt you? Like, now nah, I gotta know because you ain't give me none. So, like, who the nigga you gave some that burnt your shit? Because I want to know. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, I'm fucking retarded, man. Lord have mercy. 
interested. All right, they could be in there just to get a test, though. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they could be in there to get a test. Doesn't necessarily mean they got some shit. But you know? but nine times out of ten, women women take better better care of their health than men, and they have a a regular a regular pap smear. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And, and go to the doctor regularly. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Niggas, you know, niggas, we, we primarily don't do that shit. I do that shit because I'm worried about my health in my fucking 30s. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that prostate cancer runs in my family. So I'm going to the fucking doctor. If, nigga, if I call funny, I'm going to the fucking doctor and be like, hey, bro, look, yesterday and then the day before that and then two weeks later, I call funny. And then I got this fucking bump right here, dog. What this shit is right here? Oh, it's a mole? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just getting old. Oh, okay. Then I got these gray hairs popping up just on the side, my nigga. Like, what's up with that? Oh, okay. I'm asking all the questions, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, Bro, I got health insurance from my job for a fucking reason, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to live life just all fucking willy nilly and shit. No, we're not doing that. No, no, nigga. If nigga, if I sneeze wrong and I don't think it's my sinuses, oh, nigga, I'm going to the fucking doctor, nigga. Hey, bro, look. So when I sneeze, right, and I blew my nose, yeah, the 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 mucus was clear. Oh, that's your sinuses. Are you sure? Cause I saw a little. Oh, okay, all right. Look, I brought the napkin with me, dog. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm not playing with these niggas, man. I'm not playing with these niggas. Yeah, Tiff, I got to encourage these niggas to do that shit, man, because, you know what I'm saying, they ain't... If, if I don't tell them, who going to tell them? Because they boys ain't going to tell them, because these niggas don't got no health insurance. These niggas ain't got no health insurance, and then they, they feel like if they go to the free clinic, they gotta go to get an STD check. No, nigga, go to the nigga. If something wrong with you, nigga, go to the fucking clinic, nigga. Like yo, when I went to go play football, uh, when I went when I when I went to my aunt's for Christmas and went to play football, got tackled, and the whole fucking side of my body was hurting. And shit, I went to the fucking doctor, make sure I ain't no shit broke. Nigga, I'm not fucking 19 no more. I'm out there playing with niggas 15, 19, 20 years old. Nigga, I'm 30 fucking four, bro. Oh, the shit. Tired of this shit, man. Yeah, man. Oh, country ass, bad man's town. <laughs> yeah, man. Go get, go, hey. Make sure you got a, uh, a PCP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Get that prostate check. Gotta do it. For sure, man. Look, that's the that's the one thing. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing. Hey, man, look. Gotta get, get it done. Get it done, dog. Get it done, man. Get it done. If, especially if it runs if, if it runs in your family, bro. Get that shit done in your thirties, dog. Get that shit done in your thirties, your forties, and your fifties, dog. Like, yo, get that shit done. For real, for real. All right, bro. I, I ain't got I ain't got nothing to say. I don't want to talk about ass play. Ending this podcast off and shit. <laughs> I don't want nobody to know the doctor was playing in my ass and ain't buy me no hey, dinner man, first and shit. Up, <laughs> don't be scared, homie. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath. Yeah, just breathe in, dog. Don't breathe in, dog. Just breathe in, dog. Yeah, All right, you got uh, you got anything to say before we before we head up out of here, man? Oh man, just the usual, man. Check out my YouTube channel. Agree the number two. Disagree, man. Dropping good content. Every single week. So check that shit out, yo. Really good stuff, man. Really for sure, for stuff, sure, man. for sure. Dating advice, relationship advice, you know what I'm saying? Femininity, masculinity, all that type of talk. Yeah. So if you're interested in stuff like that, go to my channel, check it out. Or go to my Instagram down up below. Right over there. Boom. All right, man. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to our Patreon. It's only a dollar to subscribe. Um, subscribe to the Patreon, man. You can't lose with a dollar, man. You know. Um, also, make sure you follow us on social media. Uh, D and D Pod, uh, King Bot KV and GBAK, Primetime underscore Naeem. Um, also, make sure you tell a friend about the podcast, man. Like you know, share this shit to your fucking page. You know what I'm saying? Put a little like on the shit. Share this shit to your fucking page. Like the video. You know what I'm saying? No, like the video and share it. Because, like, yo, it, it, it don't take nothing to show show a little bit of love. Just share the video. Just share the video. Share the video. Say these niggas funny. These niggas crazy. These niggas don't know what they're talking about. Whatever you want to say. All publicity is good publicity. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to get out there, man. We just trying to get out there and spread our message, man. But uh, thank y'all for tuning in, man. We're going to catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.